Hello everyone, today I'm here to try out the Mobula 7 HD. So I know that this is out since quite a while now. Uh, I just wanted to give my impression and most importantly I wanted to try uh, different batteries because I'm gonna show you in a second. So the Mobula 7 comes with this uh, 3S 300 uh, milliamp LiPo from Happy Model and this battery right here is actually really really heavy this comes in at about 25.7 grams which is really really heavy for this for this quad this quad right here it's already pretty heavy on itself and uh, i don't believe these motors can handle very well this battery right here so uh, i'm gonna try with the battery that comes with it here and then I'm going to switch to a 2S, um, also 300 milliamps, like this one. Also in the package you find this little accessory right here. And so with this one you can actually use two 1S uh, LiPo. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try with these as well and see which one is better. So this one comes in at 25.7 gram. This one is about 19.2 grams. And this setup here, this is gonna be around 17 grams. So uh, there's a lot of difference, there's a big difference in weight between these batteries. So I'm gonna try all of the combination and see how this performs and how, how long can it fly. So let's give it a try. Today is a little bit windy, so it's gonna be a little bit of a heavy test, but uh, let's see how it performs. All right, I'm gonna start with the 3S, 300 milliamps, the one that comes with the Mobula 7 HD. And immediately, as soon as I take off, I can immediately feel the weight of this battery uh, because it's a 3s it does deliver uh, quite a lot of power but the battery is so heavy that kind of cancels it the the advantages of having all this power so the quad is struggling look i don't know if you can see that but it, it's so drifty and it kind of struggles to stay locked Every time you do a roll or a, you, or a flip or something like that and you come back, uh, you can immediately feel how heavy this quad is, uh, is in this configuration. I'm not sure why Epi Model uh, decided to go with this battery by default. In my opinion, the 2S um, would have been a better choice, but um, I don't know. This, in my, to, to me, this is not uh, a great battery. It does have power, but the, uh, the, the weight doesn't make for a particularly fun uh, flying experience, in my opinion. This one, obviously, uh, the Mobula 7 HD, it's not a quad um, designed to do heavy, crazy acro maneuver. It's more designed to do like some uh, smooth, slow cruise around and record the video in HD. But even so, I think that uh, the 2S will deliver a better job, uh, it will have a better balance uh, between uh, weight and performance. You know, if you can saw, I just did like a, a roll and the quad just went down. I had to push the throttle quite a bit just to get it back in the air. Um, again, for me, this is way too heavy, but uh, let's, uh, let's enjoy the rest of the flight. Okay, here I want you to pay attention to the battery voltage because the last, the very last seconds of the flight, uh, the battery goes down tremendously. The voltage goes down so quickly, and if you're not fast enough to land, it will just drop out of the sky. Look how quickly it went down from nine to seven. That was crazy. Alright, so now I'm trying the 2S 300 milliamp. This is a GMB battery, which uh, in my opinion, GMB is probably one of the best companies 
and makes uh, really good quality batteries and I can immediately feel, you probably can tell from the video, I can immediately feel how much better the quad flies. It's You need to give a little bit more throttle but it's way more locked in. I can definitely feel that it's much more maneuverable. Um, coming back from a uh, from a turn after I speed up a little bit doesn't feel as drifty as before and even rolls and there you go I did a roll and it's still locked in uh, still consider though that this is a very windy day so that's the reason why the quad is wobbling so much but uh, the 2S battery in my opinion is performing very really well and um, it gives you a lot more control over your uh, maneuverability and what you're doing and you know, if you want to do a little bit of acro, the 2S is definitely the way to go. And again, keep it, keep an eye on the uh, the battery voltage because the 2S it's even worse than the 3S. Take a look at from this point on how quickly the voltage goes down 6.210586 look and after that basically uh, the battery died and it got disconnected this is absolutely crazy you absolutely need to be very very careful on not being flying uh, far away or too high when the battery is uh, almost almost uh, at the end otherwise the quad will just drop out of the sky so now the last battery here is a two 1S battery, also 300 milliamps. But as I expected, this is my least favorite configuration. There is so little power that has been delivered. I'm pretty much almost at full throttle uh, just to keep the quad uh, barely, barely floating like this. Um, very, very little power. It is light but there, these, this is definitely not a good configuration. I'm pretty sure I'm even damaging the battery. I'm not sure that these 1S can handle uh, all, this, all the power that the motors are requiring, so definitely this is not something that I would recommend doing. And here my goggle basically decided to stop recording uh, for whatever reason. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention though, the Mobula 7 HD has a very nice feature. So if your battery gets, uh, if your battery dies or get ejected in a crash, it will still save your video on the memory card, which is great. All right, so uh, the results are kinda as expected, however, I'm not sure which one uh, I would recommend the most. I mean, obviously, the 3S is the one that delivers more power. You don't need to push the throttle that much. The 2S, in my opinion, is probably the, uh, the best combination. It gives you decent performance. You have to push the throttle a little bit more than the 3S, but it's not that much difference. These, I kind of knew it, but I mean, this is really a solution if you have absolutely nothing else to fly then you can you can fly this configuration but it's definitely not recommended you don't get uh, as nearly as enough power and you probably risk to ruin these batteries because uh, the the amps that these motors are drawing they're probably a little bit too much for these uh, tiny 1s so if you really have nothing else you can fly with this configuration but i would not recommend it in my opinion i would say that the 2s is the best in terms of performance and flight time so yeah draw your own conclusion uh, these are where my test i'm gonna test it again um, when there is probably like less wind because today it was quite windy and as you can probably see from the video uh, the the quad was all wobbling and drifting all over the place it's not exactly a quad design for uh, flying in the wind however 
uh, I think it's enough to have a, have a rough idea on how these different batteries perform. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one.